A pilot and aircraft technician David Bunin joining us right now on the phone. David, I want to begin with this. When you hear the news on Friday night that a plane crashed, that this happened in Seattle, what was your reaction? Well, my initial reaction was surprise, of course. I actually was up there in Seattle uh, when this occurred, and the initial reports were that it was a mechanic, which I found surprising, and then later uh, we found that it was actually a ramp worker, which is even more surprising. And I, I want to talk a little bit about flight simulation this morning because there are a lot of reports and, and he was speaking with air traffic controllers mentioning that video games uh, may have helped him learn how to fly. This isn't part of his day to day job responsibilities. What do you make of that? Do you think flight simulation can play a role here in helping this man learn how to fly? Well, certainly it can. I mean, pilots use flight simulators as part of a training curriculum anyway, but uh, Knowing how to move the controls and knowing how to do it well are two different things. Uh, I recently had the experience of teaching a 15-year-old how to drive, and it's it's a very herky-jerky experience. And uh, I want to go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, it's uh, the same thing is sort of true in an airplane. You you can do it, but to do it well is much harder. And David, there were a few things that you were mentioning that that played a role uh, on Friday night that were in his favor as well. Speak to that a little bit. So what makes a pilot's job hard is, is how to do the job well when things are going badly. So if you have uh, some sort of mechanical problem on the airplane, an engine failure, uh, uh, you know, systems failure, or if you have to navigate bad weather or a, a difficult airport, uh, he had all those things in his favor. He had clear weather, um, light winds, uh, presumably a fully functional aircraft. So he wasn't dealing with any malfunctions or, or you know, he had, he had the sunny day uh, scenario. Do you expect any changes at airports nationally following this incident? I know um, th there's been a lot of talk in the aviation industry, a lot of, a lot of talk about possible security changes. Do you expect much there? I expect something will happen. Um, I worry about whether it'll be something productive. Uh, and I don't know what the change would be. Obviously, you, you know, people that work on airplanes, you have to let them get to the airplanes. Yeah, definitely a, a tricky situation. But, David, uh, thank you so much for being with us on, on what is uh, a huge story here in Seattle and one that's uh, quickly becoming a huge story all across the country at airports. Stephen Joyce, we'll send it back to you.